All right, so I'm doing a resin project today, and guess what? I don't even have the finished product to show you because it's already been swiped by one of my teenagers. So if you wanna make friends with a teenager in your life, maybe this is the project to make. So let me show you a few of the things that you're going to need, and then we'll jump right in. The first thing you're gonna need is some kind of mold. So I'm using this particular jewelry mold and using the little rectangle shapes because that's going to work best for a clip. You can use basically the same process for other types of jewelry or putting something other than little mushrooms in um, the clip design. The mushrooms that I'm using are these cute little accessories that I actually found in uh, like the miniatures section of Michael's. So you may have to look around either at your Michael's or other craft store. So the ones that I found are like this. They have a little wire coming out of the bottom. We're gonna get rid of the wire for this project. You're also gonna need some resin. I'm using this amazing clear cast and it worked great for this project. I was able to pour it in a couple of different layers and it cured nice and clear and bubble free. I also used some glitter. This is a color change glitter from Color Creator. They have a lot of uh, really cool colors and I use this as kind of the bottom part of my clip. You could do something with glitter. You could um, change the resin a different color. You've got some options there too. And then of course, don't forget things like your eyeglasses, uh, some rubber gloves, have the windows open or wear a respirator. Uh, you're gonna need some stir sticks and little measuring and mixing cups. And I think that's gonna do it. So here's how I made little resin clips with mushrooms embedded inside. So what I did is I took these little miniature mushrooms and pulled out the wire that was sticking out of the bottom and then used a rough sandpaper to sand the bottom flat and sand a little bit flat on the back edge. You want to make sure that they fit into the mold that you're going to be using and you want the flat side to go up. When you know they're going to fit, Spray that jewelry mold with mold release and let it dry. And then go ahead and um, mix up some resin while you're letting that mold release finish drying. Wear gloves, of course, and your eye protection. Open the windows. And you're going to go ahead and pour um, 10 milliliters each of side A and B. So you'll get 20 milliliters total. Here I'm pouring into a paper mixing cup you can use paper cups, that's fine. Just make sure that they're not wax coated on the inside because you run the risk of scraping off some of that wax coating and mixing it into your resin, and that's no good. Follow the mixing instructions if you're using a different kind of resin. For this resin, I stirred it for four minutes, and you wanna make sure that it's not cloudy anymore. Everything's combined well, and it's turned clear. Measuring and mixing properly is the most important part in getting your resin to cure completely. All right, so fill your jewelry molds about half full with resin and let it sit for about 10 minutes. It's going to let some of those bubbles start to release. You can tap on the mold to help them rise up and then lightly mist with a little spray of alcohol and that will help pop the bubbles on the surface. And you can do that a couple times if you need to. Next, you're gonna put the mushrooms into the little mold flat side up. Go ahead and use tweezers um, and get them kind of set up in there. Then pour a little more resin in so that it almost covers the top of the flat side of the mushrooms. And as it starts to kind of move into that gel phase over, over the first couple of hours, you can come back and gently nudge those back into place if they look like they're starting to twist and roll over. After about four hours of waiting, you're going to prepare a little more resin, um, six of A and six of B for 12 milliliters total, and then add in some glitter. I use the gold green color creator chunky glitter, and then you're just gonna pour a layer over the mushrooms. This is going to be the back side of the clip when we're done. Let that all cure for 24 hours, and then you can take it out of the mold. I find that flipping the mold over and pushing from the back helps the little pieces pop out. Thank you. 
Um, then I went ahead and uh, put a couple of coats of this clear high gloss finish. Just make sure that our clips are going to be extra shiny. Uh, they can sometimes come out just a little bit uh, cloudy looking on the surface uh, when it comes out of the mold. So then when that sealer is totally dry, um, attach to a little clip like this with E6000 or some other strong glue like that. I had my little clip uh, attached to a silicone mat um, so that nothing would accidentally seep down and glue itself closed. All right, so I hope you liked watching that video and you learned something new. And I think you can see why they've already been swiped by one of my teenagers. If you can't find uh, little mushrooms like this, you could try something like looking for a shaped bead or using a different object altogether. The most important thing is just that it's going to fit into the mold that you've chosen to put on top of your clips. So if you liked this video, then give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of my future videos. And if you have questions about anything that I did in this video, make sure you let me know and I'll get back to you. See you next time.